You know, places have interesting names. I grew up right by a street in the Detroit area called John R. Like, what kind of name was that? Turns out it was named after John R. Williams, who was the first mayor of Detroit. But why didn't they just call it Williams Road then? They called it John R. Turns out he named it himself. That doesn't really answer the question though. But there's mysterious names of places around here too. You don't just have to go to Detroit. Like for example, Eddie and Park. I mean, who were they? Did they argue over whether or not it was going to be Park and Eddie? Couldn't they find two streets and name one Eddie and one Park? We may never know. And Lutheran High School South is on Tesson Ferry. But there's no ferry. While we're at it, there's no ferry at Doherty Ferry or Lime Ferry. There was, but not anymore. And don't get me started on Laclede Station. There's no station here. That's no moon. It's a Laclede Station. You know, so some places around here are named after somebody famous. Harry S. Truman Middle School. So perks of becoming a president? You get a middle school named after you. Like the whole city of St. Louis, named after this guy. He was a king. I guess that's pretty impressive. Not sure what you have to do to be a king. I think he was kind of born that way. But whatever. King Louis, Brian King. It's like we're cousins. Pretty cool horse, that's for sure. You know, they name interstate freeways after famous numbers. Like I'm on 44. That's a pretty good number. And how about Lindbergh High School, named after Charles Lindbergh? Just goes to show, if you fly by yourself across the Atlantic Ocean, you get a high school named after you. Well, I guess he didn't do it by himself. He did have an airplane. Of course, some places can be tricky. You see, I used to go and get gas at the Shell, but now I go and get it at the Circle K. It's actually the exact same place. They just changed the name. Now here's a name change for you. Abraham went up on Mount Moriah with his son Isaac. But when he came down, he put a new sign there and he called the place, the Lord will provide. Now, if you drove by a place that had a sign like this, wouldn't you be a little curious to know what that meant? What would happen there that is so great, so important that someone would rename it, the Lord will provide? Well, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you're going to hear about it in our scripture reading. You can read about it in the Jesus Storybook Bible, and you're gonna hear about it today in our message. Why don't you say that with me? The Lord will provide. You'll wanna check it out and pay attention. This is a name that was well earned. Bold prediction here. The first person to ever set foot on Mars, they're totally getting a school named after them. I guarantee it.